Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm just doing a quick little vlog chit chat, I guess. It's been a minute. Um, I believe the last video, actually I know the last video I posted on this channel was a Halloween DIY video, DIY ideas type of video. I had a lot of fun making that. I'm not usually into gory stuff um, or gross stuff, scary stuff, but um, I was pretty proud of myself. What I came up with, my husband did help a little bit. Let's see. So, let me get my tripod. So I'm using my flashlight. Um, it's been a minute, like I said. I believe the last video I posted on that channel was... The last video I posted on that channel was four months ago. Well, the second to last, because this one was just posted a little over a week ago. But, holy cow, it's been a minute. So, I guess since I posted that last video... I've just been busy. Um, I've had a lot going on. Right now we're in the middle of renovating our home. I will show you guys in a minute, but yeah, we're we're putting a new floor. It'll go all throughout the house, but right now we've got my beauty room. That That's what it is, my beauty room, our second bedroom done. Um, we're doing it in the living room and the kitchen right now. We're almost done. We did put a stop to it because we did have a puppy for a moment. Um, actually, I was washing the puppy before he went away to his forever home, and I was really sad when he left. I'll insert a picture, a clip, whatever I find first. But, yeah, so we did put a halt on that because he was not fully potty trained, and the floor that we did get swells really easily, so whatever so but it's really nice looking so i'll show you guys in a minute i believe after the floor's done i think our next like big project it'll either be putting drywall up throughout the kitchen or it'll be the clot turning the dog's room into a closet and drywalling the bedroom i'm not sure yet right now the main focus is just the floor and the kitchen and the kitchen and the living room um especially in the living room because i do want to decorate this year i'm going to attempt vlogmas for those of you that don't know what it is it's basically where you vlog every single day of christmas i think you can go through the 31st or most people stop the day of christmas maybe the day after but i'm going to attempt to do it um we'll get into how and why in a minute but oh my goodness so much has happened so yeah i really want to decorate in the living room that's where my decorate with me mostly happened last year for both fall and Christmas, I wasn't able to decorate for fall this year just because of the renovating. Um, I didn't really want to film with stuff in the way. As you can see, like things are piled up in the corner back there. So it's we're still in a mess. I'm hoping we can get this all done. Um, the floor, especially by next week. And then I will pull the stuff down from the attic and go from there. I have a second channel. Actually, it's my first channel. This is my second channel technically. But it's called Caitlin Sizemore. It's all things beauty. Um, I used to put every single video I ever made on that channel. But I decided I want to separate the two from beauty to more lifestyle and vlog type things. I'm going to be putting my vlog, my vlogmas on both channels. If you don't follow me on one or the other you can see it whichever one you follow if you want to follow both awesome the main goal is to just get this area done as far as flooring so then i could decorate in there and have like a decent setup to decorate with as far as me being able to do vlogmas i did finally quit my job i stay at home now i'm a stay at home dog mom it was a mutual decision and i'm really happy now i can get things done i just actually deep cleaned the bedroom vacuum dusted shampoo the carpet cleaned out under the bed over there in that pile that you can somewhat see behind me i do have three full garbage bags of clothes and items that i don't use or wear and i also have a mirror and a lamp and just it felt good to get rid of some things declutter now that that's done the next project will probably be in the kitchen as far as like tupperware cleaning out the cabinets um, just making sure that everything I have in there is something I use. If not, we're going to get rid of it. And then after that will be the attic. A lot of the stuff we have in here is being used. It's just cluttered um, or pushed to the side because we're doing renovations. Um, so there's not really much more in here I need to go through in the house anyway. It's all in the attic and that's like decor stuff. 
on like holiday decor stuff or home decor stuff which a lot of that stuff probably will end up going out once the house is pretty much done especially in here because a lot of it's like picture frames little wall decor things like that and i just haven't really want to put it up till like all that stuff's done so it's been sitting up there which will put a dent in some of the many boxes i have up there once we're able to get that down and actually put it out so i'm excited about that i don't know if i ever told you guys where i worked but i did work at walmart um i worked there it would have been three years this january and i quit october like 12th or something yeah it was going towards the middle of october and i'm so happy i don't miss it i miss some of the people though i'm not gonna lie but i don't miss the actual job i don't know i'm about to eat supper and here in a little bit i will show you the bedroom i will show you the floor um how it's coming what it's looking like i'll get back with you in a few and maybe you can unwind with me and kind of self pamper and we'll chit chat a little bit more so sorry if it's a little yellow ish looking lighting i'll try to color correct a little bit in adobe but yes yeah, so we touched on renovating the house and i was able to quit my job and i forgot what else but anyway next we're going to talk about real quick baby stuff and acne kind of all in one so we have been trying to have a child a baby for probably since the beginning of this year which 2020 by the way has been a complete shit show um it was just whoa so since pretty much the beginning of the year we've been serious about having a baby but we're at a point right now which we've kind of been or at least i've been more this way for some time now where it's like it is what it is mindset and i've been feeling that way for probably the last like four or five months now i was wanting to do like um it's our pregnancy journey actually when we get pregnant and just kind of leading up to it like us getting pregnant just what was going on doctor's appointments and stuff but right now i just i don't want to um i'm not really worried about that because again at this point i'm kind of like it is what it is i did go to the doctor recently it was just for a pap smear which results came back fine everything's good as far as like having a baby i'm not going to go back to the doctor about having a baby until my acne is under control so where that ties in is right now i'm on acne medication I just went to the dermatologist about a, two or three weeks ago now um they did prescribe me some antibiotics and it's, it's just like an oral pill basically and some body and face wash and some fabior foam that's the only one i know what it's called that falls in with the pregnancy stuff because I don't really want to go to the doctor worrying about getting pregnant until I can get my acne under some type of control and it's not so much my face my face is like on and off and I do I do notice it also depends on how clean and healthy ish I'm eating but my face isn't so much what I'm worried about because again it goes through like really clear spurts or it just breaks out whatever I'm worried about my body acne I've had body acne since fifth or sixth grade and i just remember in dance my mom would put makeup on my chest and back to cover up my, my acne or where i've been picking because that's another part of it is scarring is really bad so that's kind of where we're at right now as far as having a trying to have a baby and i don't really want to pursue the baby doctor appointments until i find out what you know if this acne medicine is going to work and when i can get off of it which my doctor did say that it's fine to take while trying to conceive but once i find out i'm pregnant i need to get off of it but again as far as like going to the doctor baby doctor and trying to get you know medication whatever would help me with the chances of getting pregnant um i'm not too worried about it i do go back to the dermatologist in january at the beginning of january so we'll go from there so that's that i'm in behind on videos especially on my main channel my caitlin sizemore channel um i was supposed to have a wedding makeup tutorial up 
in the month of September. It was my final, my third and final makeup tutorial for my little wedding series. I have it linked up here if you want to go check it out. I was really proud of the first two looks. The third look was going to be me recreating my wedding day makeup look. It wasn't going to be the exact same because my techniques and stuff have changed since then, but I was going to use technically the same colors um, and just kind of going for the same look that I had on that day, just amped up. I didn't get to happen. We ended up going on vacation, which that's another thing I have to go through and post our little vlog from vacation. I've been in the middle of editing my LASIK eye surgery um, procedure. My, my experience, it's not going to have any of like the LASIK stuff, like video clips and it's just going to be me talking about it. I've been in the middle of editing that since August <laughs> and it's now November so I have to get on the ball with that. That's going to go on this channel. I've just been busy and at the time I was working full time at Walmart and I was just letting things get in the way. I wasn't prioritizing my time right which I'm still really not. Um, that is something I really need to work on because I do want to do vlogmas and I don't really want to have to be worrying about those videos that I have on, you know, have on hold. I wanna go ahead and put them up hopefully soon. So I don't have to worry about that. And I could do vlogmas and decorate with me's and stuff like that. So that is a goal for November. We're already at November 10th and days aren't going by any slower and time's not gonna be put on hold because I can't prioritize my time right. But yeah, with my wedding video, yeah. I was supposed to have it up the day of my wedding or the anniversary of my wedding, which is September 30th. Did not happen, obviously. I did try to refilm it twice. It was going to be, again, recreating my makeup look from the day of my wedding, as well as does my dress still fit? Um, yes, it does still fit. I'm going to refilm all that. I, I promise it would end up going up in October. We are past that. So, yeah, I need to get on the ball with that shit. So, we went to Ikea yesterday. First time at Ikea. Absolutely loved it. I saw so many things that I wanted. I'm trying to get my husband on board to going, like, once a month to Ikea because it's only, like, an hour and 20 minutes away, which is still... A decent amount of time but it's not too far away it's in memphis we're gonna well hopefully we're gonna try to go to ikea once a month and buy one thing that we need so i did see we did see i saw it first but we did see this really nice dresser i think it comes in brown we saw it in white but it's really really nice it was like 200 bucks but it felt really nice quality felt nice it looked really nice it was big a lot of drawers and i'm hoping we can go back next month and get it and then hopefully by like February-ish we'll start, you know, we can start renovating like the closet in the bedroom because there's also these two cabinets that I want, about like $4.50 each. It's kind of pricey, but if you only saw the size of these cabinets and the space inside them, the drawers, things like that, oh my gosh, it's so nice. So we're thinking two of those big cabinets, they're wood and they have like this frosted like glass. Um, if I can find a picture, I'll insert it in here. Two of those for the closet, um, side by side. Put the dresser in there. We're thinking of like a nice little bench. For my beauty room, there was this like, I don't know if it's a chase or what it is, but it, it was, I don't know how to explain it. It was a really long couch. It's not gonna take up that much room. I could put it in the corner under the window, which I'll show you in a minute. And then I'm thinking about putting a, just a nice chair next to it and then a table in between. I think it's gonna look really nice. Um, but again, I'm just hoping we can go like once a month and get what we need. So like next month, the dresser, the month, af the month after that maybe the wardrobe, then the other wardrobe, cabinet thing. And after that, maybe my chair. I don't know, we'll see, hopefully, fingers crossed. Okay, so from there, I will now show you guys the floor in here, the bedroom, ideas that I have for both the living room and the bedroom. I'll show you how I deep clean my bedroom if you're interested. This is the floor we're getting, that we're continuing. It's this beautiful gray color. For a while we did, we were just living with concrete in the living room. This is a dog's ball. So, yeah. This is a rug. My husband picks this rug out. It's actually really nice and soft. This is my grandmother's fireplace. I'm still debating on whether we should hook it up to gas or not. It is a gas fireplace. We do have gas in the house. But I also want to take it with us whenever we move. Hopefully within the next year and a half, two years. So I'm still debating if it's worth poking a hole in the wall, hooking it up, or if we should just keep it as is for now. And it's looking so good. I'm so excited. This is a pile of junk. This right here, this table and stuff, actually goes under that window. Um, this is a fireplace that'll go in the bedroom. This fireplace actually 
used to be where that one is so this one's gonna go in our bedroom it's just a electric one this is the house i built my cat last year i need to hook him up with a new mtv crib oh see turn on where's this is christmas house so then what i'm wanting to do so this table and chairs is supposed to go here i'm hoping we can finish the floor and put the trim up like around the window and up there i'm not too worried about the baseboard yet i just want around the window and up there and some blinds because i want to put the tree in front of the window this year usually it's in the corner but i love the look of a tree in front of the window we might have to scoot the couches down a little bit i'm not sure yet if it's going to be too crowded then i will stick it back over there but i'm hoping i can put the tree there put the table and stuff like up against that wall um maybe add some lamps so not too much in here and now we'll go into the other bedroom so coming in here the floor is done we've got some power tools um because again they are working my dad and my husband have been working on the floor in there um this tv or maybe that's yeah this tv will go in here um and these are my lights that i film with here's my mirror that's getting swapped with the taller ikea drawers my desk will go here this will get repainted and shipped off to my mom's um, my actual beauty desk will go here the computer will stay there i'm thinking my vanity mirror will go there I'm wanting to stick, if you remember in the living room where I was talking about putting that table and the chair, I call them chairs, but the ottomans, I want to stick that mirror in that slot between the two windows except sideways, which is actually I think how it's meant to be. I want to get a tall vanity mirror to match the one with the bulbs that'll go there and I want to put that actually over there. Are you following me? And then the couch that I was telling you about earlier, or whatever it's called, just the long thing, I want to stick in that corner. I'm gonna put a table there and then another chair there. The TV, that TV will probably um, end up going right there. And this will just be empty space because um, I don't wanna overcrowd it. This, I might, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet, but I don't know, it's a work in progress. We're getting there. But this is where I edit, where I film, my makeup. I've gotta go through my makeup. I've got a lot to do um, and I'm just wasting time by not doing it. Okay, so yeah, this is our bedroom. We got a new quilt. Actually, we got that for Christmas last year. So we got this quilt last year for Christmas. I don't know why everything's looking so yellow. Um, I got those blue lights like two years ago, literally, and because my husband said he liked blue Christmas lights, and I'm more of the white traditional Christmas lights person. So tell him no to having a colorful tree, which I actually do have a colorful mini tree, which will go in here for Christmas like I did last year, but as far as like the big voluptuous Christmas trees, I'm sorry babe, but we have to stay with white. I'm not a colorful person with that. I picked out those lights for him. It was literally right after Christmas, like in 2019, no 2018, and I got them on sale. They're, before that they were probably like a dollar something, but I think I got them for like 50 cents. And I've been meaning to stick them on the headboard. I kept forgetting about them. And then when I deep cleaned the room, I found them and we put them, well I put them up actually. So over there, got my nightstand, got my humidifier, lotion, the stuff I've had for like two years too. Um, Eiffel Tower, um, I used to be obsessed with Eiffel Tower in Paris, that's where I've always wanted to go. Here are my rosaries, I'm not a religious person anymore, I wasn't really to begin with, but I don't attend church. But these are the rosaries I've collected. I have a couple more somewhere. Um, I am Catholic, or I was raised Catholic again. I no longer really practice Catholicism anymore. They do mean a lot to me. They're beautiful. Um, and I just, I've always kept them. And I like keeping them close to my bed. It's weird because this one smells just like my grandmother. She wears this perfume called White Diamond, or she used to. And that's exactly what it smells like. It's so weird. We'll just do it like this. So this little bench, I have to reupholster it because my cat tore it up. I don't know if you can tell. My cat tore it up. Um, oh, there he is now. <laughs> what are you doing? These pillows we got from Pure Import, Pure One or something like that. Pure Import One. These will go in my beauty room once we get the couch for it. 
blanket will go in there. Again, I'm going to reupholster this. This might be the bench that will go in the closet. So this is what we have right now as far as a closet. Um, whenever we bought the house, it was only one and a half bedroom, no closets. Went through, which you can't tell now, but I did go through. I organized our clothes. The top's supposed to be his, but my some of my clothes are over there. Mine's on the bottom. All that used to be like just like full of junk. I went through all that. So it does look a lot better in my opinion. There's some workout stuff that I need to start using again. Throw blankets over there. Washed all of those. Shoes are in the cubbies over there. I don't know. It just looks way more put together than it did before. Here's my wedding dress. We got it at Lowe's Bridal in Arkansas. Awesome place, by the way. So, over here... Again, this is my, I'm sure he'll be happy for me to get like all my stuff out whenever that room's done, but I need some perfumes. I do not shop at Victoria's Secret anymore, so I'm just using up what I have. Um, I do like the smell of teas and night. Night used to be my absolute favorite when I did shop there, but um, I'm just using them up now. And then after that, I'll just, I'll find something else. Um, but I do need some new perfumes. I really want one of those, like a signature fragrance. I don't know. I, I've never had one of those other than night. So, so this model set up. Nothing's focusing. This is his side. Of course, he has to have a picture of me. Got him this good Mythical Morning cup mug for his birthday in 2019, I believe. I also got him a shirt that says Boom because he used to watch Crazy Russian Hacker all the time. I don't even know where that shirt is anymore. Um, at the <laughs> Halloween party. So you saw me decorate for. Halloween if you haven't I'll insert the card right in here or at the end screen um, but we won the 2020 annual fish fry best dressed couple um, he was the devil and I was the angel I do have a makeup tutorial on my angel makeup and yeah my angel inspired makeup um, I'll insert that here too I'll put a card in for you guys if you want to go check it out this is his area we got those wands for Christmas last year. He doesn't want to eat it. He says one day it's going to be worth a lot of money, I guess. I got this at some boutique around where I live. I think it's really cute. Over here, we just have like a bunch of movies. Okay, so there is a fireplace that will go right here. We just have to raise the TV up because it's the fireplace is kind of high. My old Xbox is right there. I guess he took his PS4 with him. Um, the thing of shells that we got from Florida my suitcase back here is a jewelry this is from when I worked at Walmart we got these last year um, I actually stole a few of these I don't know what happened to the other ones but I was gonna try to put them on my animals for Christmas photos it didn't work out this I got from 2019 Christmas, no, 20, 2018. I got this at 2018. Christmas working at Walmart. You can tell from the Walmart symbol. And these from last year, 2019. I bought this the other day. I'm going to, instead of turning them into ornaments, which they already are, instead of using them as ornaments, I'm going to take that piece out and just use them like along my garland and stuff, decorate with them. They're so pretty. They're, this isn't doing them any justice. They're these pretty pearly white trees um i don't want to use them as ornaments again i'm going to take that out and just decorate with them um some robes get all my jewelry this jewelry is from when i worked at kato i don't know again i'm not into some of this i need to give away some christmas necklaces i love this i haven't worn this yet it's a gray band with like studs on it. Beautiful. Um, there was another one. I was obsessed with this, but then it started changing colors and I'm kind of mad about it. I love this. I don't know why, but it's beautiful. It's like this gray stone, this mm, ear pea color stone, and this like blue gray stone. It's not showing up on camera like that, but whatever I love these necklaces I'm obsessed with them I believe these these three I got for my birthday it's a gray one a multicolor and a black 
And then the yellow and the pink one I got off Amazon. Lighting is so bad. It's not even funny. We aren't going to be washing our hair tonight. I rarely do that. Just because, you know, just because I have really oily skin and I just don't like to sleep on an oily head hair. But yeah, I just, I don't really feel like washing it tonight. Plus I might film something tomorrow. So yeah, just save me the trouble of having to re-straighten as much. Oh my god, this lighting is horrible. So what I use is a Garnier, Garnier Skin Active Micellar, Micellar Cleansing Water. That's what I use to take my makeup off. I like it, it works pretty well. I used to wear a waterproof mascara a lot. Um, I no longer wear it as much anymore just because I'm lazy and I hate taking the time to take it off. But a good tip is baby oil. It doesn't burn your eyes like some of those waterproof makeup removers do. Literally, it's made for babies, so it won't harm you. It won't burn or irritate, more than likely. Um, but that's a tip that I use for removing waterproof makeup. After my shower, I will show you guys what I use as far as my acne. Um, like body and face wash and then I'll show you the fabric work on and then if I remember I'll show you guys the tablets I'm taking which I'm almost due for a refill so the logo I have makeup on but no big deal okay so I'll go ahead and show you real quick <laughs> like rough as shit so the sodium sulfatamide I don't know but this is the face and body wash that I use for my acne I also did just use this in the shower before I put it on so I I washed my body, washed my face, and then I went in with the Shea Sugar Scrub. I got this off Amazon. You get it at Ulta, I believe you can get it at Walmart. And I went in with my acne wash. Um, I use this Pixnor spin brush. It comes with like seven different heads. I only use the one. Next thing that I do whenever I get out of the shower, because I use this in the morning and at night. I use this on my face and body in the morning, then I use it again at night. Um, the Fabior foam, I just use it before I go to bed. So this is, it is very strong. The first week and a half of using it, my skin was burning, it was peeling, it was super dry, it was irritating it. I pushed through and that's also around the time probably within the first week and a half of using it i think it's almost three weeks now using it um i did order this it just came in like probably like five days ago so that helped with the dry skin and bringing the new skin forward it's after adjusting to this i haven't had any more problems so what i do with this you're supposed to use just a small amount but i do put it on my face my chest and my back so i'll take about that much I'll dab where I feel like I need it and then whatever's left because it is also expensive I will throw on my chest and my problem area I'll rub this in again where I feel like I need it and then I'll also do a little bit for my back so again that much yes I'm sorry I'll dab I need it more on this side for some reason this side breaks out more from there, another thing I got off Amazon was the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Water Gel Moisturizer. This did say online that it was for dry skin, but I also read that dermatologists do recommend it for oily to combination skin. So far, I've loved it. It smells like, it smells fresh. It, it smells really fresh has a nice consistency it's not one to focus but anyway you get it and then I'll just dab some and rub it in and I don't feel like it clogs my pores because that's another thing with moisturizers um, I feel like they do clog so I'll take some of that and put it on my chest again because that Fabior foam is drying throw some on my back which I haven't had any problems since putting on my back I don't know if you're supposed to but again it's drying and I feel like lotion clogs 
my pores more than this would. So after we do that, oh, this lighting's so bad. I will say though that the body wash, sulfate, whatever it's called, stinks. It smells really bad. Another thing I forgot to mention, I even forgot to put on and take my robe again off for that, my bad. So another thing that the doctor did recommend was a scar gel or cream. Um, I bought the Equate Scar Gel Skincare for Scars. Use daily to help reduce appearance of old and new scars from surgery, injury, acne, or stretch marks. Just this. This Equate brand I think was like eight, nine bucks. The actual like name brand was like 12 or something. So it is kind of expensive. I had it for almost a month. I just started using it like four or five days ago, but I put it where I need it. See, it's just a clear gel. Kitty. Hey, baby.